Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, uh, as many of you know, I am after surgery with my leg, which I broke uh, after I was adopted. After I adopted a two years old Labrador, he is kind of crazy, cutie, cutie guy. And he gets so excited from everything. So I end up in the bed for some time with my broken leg. I wasn't able to craft I was able to do designs on my computer and I'm now I am trying to sort out not just craft my craft supplies which are stuck in the boxes because obviously my sons had to clean my room to make sure that I will be able to move here uh, on the chair after surgery and then with those braces and with those crutches. So uh, most of my craft supplies for handcraft, I mean for paper craft, uh, they are stuck in the boxes and I, I it will take a time to sort them out and also because I've been very busy in my computer it's taking time for me now to kind of sort out my computer and put everything the way I want it so maybe you noticed if you are following me on my Etsy that lately I was able to upload it there so many new collection new collections that was what I was creating through uh, my bedtime. Uh, my Patreons will get them uh, in weeks. I don't want to overload them uh, at one time. So they will get everything what they see here they will get. So for my Patreons, you will get all of these. So uh, I do have on my Etsy a collection of profile pictures. Really beautiful pictures. And I did print out everything just to make sure, uh, you know, it doesn't have any any uh, mistakes. With these profile pictures, you will get also a template and two uh, kind of like pockets for these pictures. These profile photos can be fit. Uh, these are pockets with the lid on the pocket. You will just fold it together. I'm going to show you today how you can uh, put it together. Then I do have their collection of little snippets from books and from documents. You know, all kind of decorations for our journals. Uh, all kind of dates, words and the little beautiful uh, adverts from old books. And uh, I made them in black and white and also in the red print same these two all of my these collections are in a4 size print uh, and also in us letter size print all of these then i do have their collection of beautiful uh, beautiful grungy file folders and I do have them uh, in the large size where you are printing just one file folder on the page. And then I made it in the smaller size for those who like to create small versions. So you don't have to put it, you know, uh, complete, uh, complicated way to on the page. I made it for you so you can just print it out. So there is collection of these kind of like grungy file folders. And here I'm, I can show you how they do look, you know, always one at the time. So they are really grungy and you can uh, fussy cut out this space, put their acetate piece and you have beautiful window. You do have all kind of uh, little inserts in that tuck and pocket with window, little file folder. So, yeah, these are those mini file folders and pockets. And I will try to show you as well what you can do with these. Then I do have their collection of linnet papers, I believe. Yeah, I do have their collection of linnet papers, again, with that grungy style. And with this kind of like, you know, uh, with this like a blue, bluish, bluish kind of like hope. Uh, hope in my mind uh, I think that's why I am in that mood uh, I do have that blue color I think for hope that I'm gonna be healthy soon so here we have uh, lost in alphabet collection 
I do have there a few, you know, few papers with alphabet all kind of beautiful background papers and i do have also i think i did show this one a uh, collection with uh with numbers that's lost in numbers again in bluish and i do have that this one uh, that's blue glitch i think if i'm not mistaken uh, again with blue color that's because i'm hoping yeah i was hoping i will have a home I will buy a home before my 50s that didn't happen but i'm i'm still hoping yeah that was all about uh, new collections i think i do have there a few more especially for halloween uh, that's also what i would like to show you right here i do have their uh, papers for halloween they do look like this you have background papers for halloween for uh, the collection i did share in this yeah in this creation this i made with my patreons actually that was just to show them how they can use that new collection and i included this one oh yeah here clap, and this way <laughs> and i included this one in the book i have created here uh this is the card i have created with that moving witch who who stole the moon so i included this card here as a decoration on my on the cover of this book and this is also alternation of the book cover i did share with you uh, i do have that tutorial here on on youtube uh, it's made from that paperback so these are papers uh, from these are papers from halloween story yeah, Halloween story. This, that's also on my uh, on my Etsy, and they are really gorgeous. They are so spooky. <laughs> so these gorgeous papers are inspired by art of Paul Gustav uh, Doré. Doré, Doré, I believe Doré. Uh, he was French uh, painter and. Uh, illustrator and uh, comics artist and he, he's his um, pictures are awesome they are kind of like uh, spooky here and there so all this collection it's inspired by his art and i really love this collection that's that's this one i do have on my etsy also this card and also yeah these <laughs> I do have very short video on my Instagram how you can put these together. I'm gonna put video here as well right now. As this is just fussy cutting and gluing together really easy, so I'm gonna show it very quickly. I did fussy cut out all these images, then I used distress ink and I distressed the edges on every single one of these pieces, and I started to glue uh, all together. First, what I took was the black printed shape of the uh, tombstone i added a paper clip on the fold and then on one side of the tombstone i added glue i grabbed the decorated or a colorful image of the tombstone and i glue it on that side and then i added glue on that uh, opposite side and glue uh, the the next image then i grabbed small uh, small image small colorful image of that tombstone uh, bottom and i added a little bit of glue on the edges on the three edges actually i wanted to make this as a pocket so if i will want so i can add there those small things and here i just paid attention to not glue it over open edge uh, glue it over the spine where there was put paper clip on it i hope that makes sense so this way i put together uh, that tombstone paper clip hidden paper clip you can't see that paper clip because it's under all these layers same way i have created that second one again all is distressed i slide on the fold on the middle fold i slide that paper clip added the glue 
on the colorful uh, piece and then I glue that colorful piece over that black and white or black uh, shape of that tombstone and again I did add it at the bottom of the tombstone where those schools and those big uh, pieces of stone are and again I did it uh, or made it as an extra pocket so if I will want so I can add there some little things those little envelopes and tags then i started to glue together all four envelopes which are included with this collection they are really cute and very small so i did use my bone folder just to make sure that everything will be folded nicely and very crisp just because i wasn't able to do it with my fingers it's just too small and i glued together those little envelopes they are in the size uh, which can fit uh, those four cards with some uh, Halloween saying. Uh, if these cards are folded on three, like gatefolds, gatefold uh, ish, so they can uh, fit into those small envelopes. And that small envelope can fit into those pockets. So that's what I did with all these little pieces. I added those little tags and envelopes into my tombstones. And then I took the journal, which we will create now together, just very easy way. And I placed my uh, hidden paper clips to the pages. I have to say I really love them. I hope you did enjoy to have a look how I have how I created this little cute little uh, hidden paper clips. I did enjoy it so much to create them and I think they are so much fun and yes I do have them on my Etsy as well so uh, that's probably uh, all for now. I do have somewhere printed also Halloween a little oh stickers not stickers little snippets and uh, adverts i don't have it here to show you no i don't i don't have it here sorry so that's all what i can show you what it's new on my etsy and now um i had beautiful chat with one of my uh youtube subscribers uh, on my facebook facebook account and uh, the norma asked me if i can create something from dl envelopes that she does have a bunch of dl envelopes and she would like to create writing journal from dl envelopes so i was thinking yeah that's what i'm saying uh, it's paper right uh, you can write on it because it's paper you can write here here you can write all here so it's paper it it's made like an envelope but it's just kind of like a bonus of this paper so why do not create a beautiful journal out of envelopes which can be used for writing and also for storing and i will try to create some beautiful pages and this time uh, i'm gonna let myself inspired by uh, one of the tim holt's crafters creators makers i love her style it's suzy from shabby soul i do believe uh, those who like tim holt style you know her channel you know her instagram and she was first where i saw the technique of binding single pages she's using those tabs so she was first where i saw this technique then i saw it on many other channels uh, i never tried that yet but i always wanted to try it so today uh, i'm gonna create few pages like single pages from envelopes and then i will try to bind them together and put them in some book cover i hope you will join me and i hope you will try it as well uh, as my help with these envelopes i do have their papers from uh, like paper pad It's this skinny paper pad and I found that these beautiful little papers are perfect for my DL envelopes. My DL, DL envelopes, they do have this fold here. And if I will glue my paper here, look, it's fitting just exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to be using these papers 
to add here also another writing space not just this as a writing space but also these papers and i will create some uh, layers and some openings and some funny thingy from envelopes and we will create a little book so i do have here two the uh, envelopes i'm gonna be using one as my base another one i'm gonna use as a flap for this first one I think I'm gonna make it slightly shorter. I will be using my scoring board just to make sure I do have all the way I want. So I'm gonna score this one from the bottom. Uh, three, no, four inches. This envelope is here four and one quarter, so I'm gonna score it at four inches. So I do have that four inches here. I'm gonna get up my uh, scissors. I'm gonna cut off this and this. And now I'm going to grab this envelope and I'm going to glue it all together. I'm going to stack them together. Put the glue here on this flap and glue them together. So we do have pocket here. We do have flap for this pocket here. And because I can create a little bit more on this, I'm going to grab one more. Uh, envelope this one I'm gonna glue together so I'm gonna close this envelope I'm gonna take my uh, guillotine and cut that envelope on four inches as well so I'm gonna cut the edges to make it same like that first one which I scored so four inches now uh, the side with the window I'm gonna keep down so this I'm gonna keep in one piece the other side I'm gonna make a mark where there is the middle so here I'm gonna fold these two together fold it here and cut it here actually straight away that's the middle of that back side so i do have cut it, the envelope here and i do have strip like this i can place it either this way and glue it on the top of this so the windows will be kind of matching look at that it's good so if I will don't have anything in this pocket, because obviously I'm going to create a pocket here. So if I will don't have anything in this pocket here, I can see through those two windows to that pocket here. That's good. Before I will glue this one on the top of this one, I'm going to use some distressed inks. And of course, I'm going to use also my stamps. Uh, my collection is getting bigger so these stamps uh, these are from uh, they are designed by Phil Martin Splatterlicious Textures Sentimental Yours it's UK company I believe you can UK company if I'm not mistaken and they are awesome the texture of these it's amazing so i'm gonna be using these do some a little stamping here and there or bigger stamping here and there and i will come back i'm in the middle of the stamping and uh, i'm using tim holt's uh, vintage photo which i didn't use for such a long time and i realized i want to create this one slightly shorter smaller so instead of four inches here, I'm going to go three and three quarters. So it will be like a cascade. This is four and one quarter, four, and this will be three and three quarter. So it will make beautiful cascade ones. This will be glued on the top. 
Zo'n 3 en 3 kwartere. I do have distressed and stamped uh, the both those pieces and I also distressed the edges of this uh, paper which can fit here in this spot so I'm thinking I'm gonna glue it here straight away it will be like extra piece for writing and here on this side uh, because it does have perforation in this fold just to make sure it will don't drop down or loose you know somewhere <laughs> I'm gonna use my uh, tape this is medical tape paper medical tape which I did inked with alcohol inks so I'm gonna use it over it and glue this fold Now I can take this one and I can glue it here. So I wanted to reinforce it this side. So I put two strips of washi tape on that spot to make this edge of that paper stronger. I'm going to be also using my sewing machine because I do like sewing effect and I will do sewing around the edges. I do have here a piece of the blue paper. This is from that blue glitch collection. And I did cut it in the size which will cover this and it will go also inside here so it will make beautiful decoration. So I'm gonna glue it straight away. I'm gonna put the glue here. I already folded the way that it will be slight inside. The part of it will be inside and I can glue it here and then the rest I will glue on this flap so it will be like flap over that pocket here so I'm gonna slide it here make a nice position I'm gonna put the glue here and fold this over and let that dry Then I will <clears throat> add a piece of some decorative paper here inside and cover this one. Probably some beautiful book page, I'm guessing. So now I do have flap for this pocket. I do have decorated that blue here in this pocket. I do have extra writing spot here. I can close it. This will need to dry. And uh, now this one, I do have reinforced the edge, so I can place it here and I can use my sewing machine. So I'm going to do sewing uh, around this edge here, down there, and I'm going to be finishing here, I guess. And then I can do sewing... Once it will be glued, I can do sewing this edge through to all these layers. I have made sewing on this extra piece around these three edges here, down there and here. I'm going <coughs> to glue this one on the top of my envelope. And now I'm going to be using my sewing machine. I'm going to open it this way. And I'm going to do sewing here through to all this. And I need to leave it open like this. I don't want to sew this one together. So I will have sewing effect here as well. So my first page, uh, I'm going to finish this later. I'm going to add here pocket and maybe frame on the top or or otherwise. Uh, so my first page is this one, opening, opening, pocket here. Opening, writing spot, pocket here, flap, pocket. And I'm going to also add there uh, another things. This is just base. That's 
page number one. So next base for another page will be very easy. I do have here one envelope. The flap I'm going to fold on that opposite side. So it will be this way. Here you have another envelope and I'm going to fit that envelope into this space, into here. So I'm going to fold it probably or I can score it. It just needs to have that envelope small enough that I can fit here. And it looks like I can fold it over this edge here. So now I'm going to glue it all together. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to take another one gonna fold this envelope on half like this open the flap so I do have it folded on half and I wanna have this edge on this side of the fold as well so I'm gonna fold it together I'm not gonna press it too much just fold these two corners together and cut so I do have two flaps here I'm gonna grab some book page this is from my old English <laughs> English book and it does have as you can see it's really old so I'm going to be using these beautiful old pages, cut them in the size of this. I'm going to also make the flaps slightly longer and I'm going to be using those book pages to make that effect. So here they are probably one inch, I guess. I'm not going to even measure that. I'm going to just i think this way and there will be a piece long enough to slide it here inside so that's one piece i'm gonna grab another piece and fold it exactly same okay so it will go that way And it will go that way. First, I'm going to glue it here. It will be very strange, but I'm going to glue it first here. Just to make sure I will don't go over the edge here. So first, I'm going to glue my book page on the original flap here. Now I can unfold it, put the glue here, and slide it inside. That's one side. Come on. And now this. So, because I had here spot, blue spot, 
uh, I glued there my tape I'm gonna fold it again and I'm gonna cut this and cut this So I do have extended flaps. I can put some decorative paper here. Uh, I can grab this one where I do have the flap on the other side. This has here the covering paper. I'm gonna add also glue. And I'm gonna take this and glue it together. I'm not gonna put uh, edge to edge. I'm gonna put this one slightly off the edge I'm not sure how to describe it you will see <laughs> that it will be peeking out a little bit just a slightly okay here so if I will place it edge to edge it will be same here and it will be hard to open it you know so I do have it glued uh, I can decorate all this with something or leave it as it is like a writing spot here i'm gonna actually uh, cut these here and here and i'm gonna place oops i'm gonna place my colored uh, colored tape just to tape it over because it's small spot it's not big edge so i'm gonna tape it over it it's not thick uh tape this one so it will don't make bulks But it's strong and it will hold nicely. Like this. Look at that. So I do have here that pocket. The flaps, this one. This will be like two pockets. So I'm going to glue it here or sew it through. But I will decorate the top first because... Yeah, because I feel that way. <laughs> and we do have this big spot. And I do have here that envelope which I glued together right from the start. It's too long. So I'm going to cut it down slightly. I would say... Hmm, on six inches. Yes, on six inches. Cut it off and then this off cut I'm gonna be using here as another pocket. So first I'm gonna put something here and I do have off cuts from uh, you know that previous cutting my paper so how about if I will use this straight away. I did distressing on all edges. So how about if I will use it here and here I can place some uh, decorative washi tape or so oh yeah look at that this can be here And again washi tape so I'm gonna distress the edges on these small pieces and I'm gonna glue it here and this one here and i was about to gluing this one on the top but then i realized i can actually make the entry to this pocket a little bit easier if i will glue this first 
and then glue this one inside so i'm gonna glue it hopefully i will manage that so we do have pocket here or i will have pocket here i do have pocket here i'm gonna glue it first now i can try to get there with this paper i do have their glue so hopefully okay yeah that's when you think after you do right okay i did manage that good so the entry to that bottom pocket will be easier i will don't have that that jump you know i can slide something easy inside and now i can use either this one or i'm gonna use some um washi tape and put washi tape here and here so i do have my pocket here and pocket here first i thought i'm gonna actually glue it here but then i realized uh, this should be writing journal using uh, mainly or if it is possible only envelopes which i already didn't <laughs> i do have you know extra page from decorative paper but uh, it should be mainly uh, writing spots on envelopes so i'm gonna keep this as a writing spot and i'm gonna glue this one uh, to my pocket and it will be like opening i do have here another off cut from you know from cutting this page so i'm gonna use that to fix my envelope on the other envelope I'm gonna fold it on half, I'm guessing, this way, actually this way, this way, and I can use my envelope punch board or I can just take a scissors and here where the fold is I can create a top like this I'm gonna distress it first from both sides and I'm gonna also add a decorative uh, edge by using the, this Zutra machine I'm gonna glue it here and it's kind of like plain and I would like to have here those holes which this Zutra machine does so I'm gonna add to this side the holes this I'm gonna slide it here and punch again hopefully i slide it there the right way yeah it's <laughs> not exactly when mistakes or unfortunate punching happens then call it vintage or cover it with something and i'm gonna cover it with my magical tape so first i'm gonna glue it here there, there. and the spot which i don't like i'm gonna just cover with my magical tape it will be visible but not too much like this i can do some stamping here but i can do that stamping later on as well so now i can place my a little opening right here i'm gonna put the glue here 
slide it to my envelope and make a position here yes and press so that's my page number two the third page i'm gonna do probably very quickly and very easy so we do have first here i just need to show you i added a piece of paper here on that top flap and i made it as a pocket so i did glue it just here here and here and i have cut this edge kind of like in the shape of the envelope flaps and i did also stitching all around once i had it glued on these three sides to this flap i used my sewing machine and did stitching all around so it's not just glued it's also stitched with sewing machine and here on the bottom on this on this flap i used this is book page and from one side it was just this blank so it can be used as another writing spot and it can be also used as the pocket maybe for some notes i'm a person who is making notes kind of like thousand notes <laughs> so journals like this where there is so many pockets where i can stack those notes that's the perfect journal <laughs> so this is what i do have first openings openings then second this pocket and here two pockets so the third one here you have one large envelope another that ideal envelope and i'm gonna fold this one right after this i think it's three and a half probably inches i'm gonna have a look i think it's three and a half three okay three inches here so i'm gonna make it three and a half actually or so i'm gonna place it here flip it over and fold it over the edge of this envelope yeah like this one yes so here will be pocket but it will be kind of like shallow pocket and uh, it can be open and i will have writing space here and here and window window so i'm gonna cut this here on the flap of that other envelope place them together and fold like this Because I don't like sharp corners, I'm gonna cut the corners on these. I actually did that on uh, those both uh, pockets before as well. I did cut a little bit those corners. Now I can take uh, distress inks and distress all the edges. And I have added one of these papers i'm gonna add here again my tape and that will be third very easy writing page with the pockets here i added the tape and here i'm gonna be uh, adding some decorative paper make it as a flap something from those collections just to use them those prints so i have uh, put decorative uh, this is from those grungy linen papers I made kind of like a cover and created flap for this envelope. Here I do have the tape and I placed the tape here as well. And we have opening and some writing uh, space. So that's my three basic pages. 
and I have created another two uh, pages, kind of like mirroring pages of these first two. Uh, it's really like mirror. So what I have created on this side, I have created on front side, and then you know this flip out I do have here. So just mirroring way, and this is also same. This down and to the side, to the side. And I also put decorative papers on the ends here and here just to make sure that uh, both sides will be covered this will be front cover this will be back cover this will be just very small uh, journal for writing but there is lots of spaces for writing in this just uh, a few pages and uh, now i'm gonna prepare my hinges kind of hinges and that's uh as I said, that's what I saw on Susie's channel, Shabby Soul. I'm going to put link down below for her video because it's brilliant. She's uh, showing her examples of, of her work. Go to have a look if you didn't see it yet. She is awesome. I love her style very, very much. So I'm going to prepare my hinges. I do have here this fabric, beautiful fabric, and I do have that double-sided tape. And here I do have Tim Holtz stamp uh, hodgepodge. <laughs> I don't know him, is it? Hot pot, hot, hot pot, I guess. Uh, it's really beautiful. It's kind of funny stamp. So I'm gonna use that uh, Adirondack, Duck, Adirondack espresso, and I'm gonna try to stamp it. And we will see. Ah, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna try more. So I do have colored <laughs> that stamping just disappeared because I used also uh, broken china and I went over this with the ink pad uh, in broken china color. I made these lines to have my hinges kind of similar uh, in the width. So I'm gonna cut it on pieces and now following instruction by Susie you will put your pages in the order you want to see them so I do have it here and you're gonna start with the first one this will be like my front uh, front cover of that little journal I do have here my little hinges I did distress the edges a little bit and I'm gonna place three hinges here I'm gonna flip it this way I'm gonna take next page and here I'm gonna put just two hinges in those empty spots I'm gonna flip this page match it with that first one and I'm gonna fold these hinges from the front cover on my first page here here and here okay not that way <laughs> I forgot I do have here pockets so I need to unfold my pockets I'm gonna go again okay fold here Now I can put back my pocket. I'm gonna distress it a little bit straight away. No, not straight away. After. I'm gonna distress these after I will finish my book. I'm gonna take another page and place here three hinges. And I'm gonna flip it over, match it with the pages before, and on this 
I'm gonna glue these two hinges from the page before. Now I'm gonna take another one and here I'm gonna place two hinges where there are those missing places. And I'm gonna grab this, flip it over, unfold this one. <laughs> yeah, my pocket. And here I'm gonna glue not these two hinges, but these from that previous page. And as you can see, I'm not pushing or pulling anything. I'm just folding this over. That makes it um, not too tight and you will be able to open the book and close the book fully flat if you will don't push it too much. And I'm gonna grab the last piece and here I'm not gonna put any uh, any hinges because this I'm gonna just place place on the top and fold these last two fabric hinges here and here it looks amazing and you can fully open your book if you are using this type of binding i'm gonna cover this uh, sticky thingy with my uh, tape with this tape to make sure that it will be not catching anything so all these sticky spots from uh, those hinges i'm now gonna cover with my beautiful tape it will make another interesting point in this book Okay, and this is just medical tape, uh, color it with alcohol ink. And I do have it uh, prepared for all kind of decoration. I used for these uh, fabric hinges, I used alcohol ink, this brownie alcohol ink, because uh, this white one, that was just, I don't know, it just wasn't the thing I wanted to have here. It's kind of like a grungy journal because of these papers so I did use that alcohol ink through to that uh, journal even it did split here and there on my papers I think with this grungy style it's totally okay it did soak on my envelopes here and there like here on this yeah but I'm okay with that it will add another interesting thing interesting look into my a little journal so this is prepared for next steps with um, editing stamping editing maybe some taps uh, yeah all kind of things and that can be in the next video you do have prepared the base i hope you will have a look on susie's uh, susie's tutorial i will link it down below i will also uh, put link to my etsy down below for those who want to have a look on my digitals and that's all for today i do have here two sheets another two sheets with my tape and i'm gonna uh, color it with that alcohol ink because this is last one these two actually our last one i have i'm using these quite a lot because they are just perfect decoration so i do have here uh, strips of the medical tape and with this alcohol ink it's just taken really beautiful tone very vintage gorgeous tone which is perfect for my journals and just with this simple easy coloring i'm preparing for next 
decorating. So I hope I will see you next time with continuing probably with some inserts and with some stamping and decorating. This was all for today. I'm going to show you one more time how my journal looks when it's put together for those who want to have a look. So my front cover. And we do have opening and opening. We do have pocket here and pocket here and pocket here and opening. Then we do have beautiful writing space here and here. Another pocket here, writing space here. This is also as a flap to the pocket here. And I did put linen paper here, so all this can be used for writing. Then we do have this page, there is opening here. We do have writing space, we do have beautiful window. I placed that uh, book page just because I, I thought it will look better this way. Uh, I do have pocket, <laughs> pocket from the top. And that's what I'm saying here. I will definitely like, ah, I will definitely like to have maybe top which I can create in the next video. I do have pocket here and I do have pocket here. Then we do have these two pockets, one and two. I added sewing here between those two pockets and we do have writing space. And I think I will next time add, you know, a book page here as well and probably here as well i will see then we do have this just simple opening lots of writing space pocket here and pocket here and then we do have another two pockets here again i did sewing between these two and lots of space for writing here And then we do have this flip pocket here and pocket here and here on the top. And again, I think I'm going to create some tops so it will be more visible. And we do have flop with a pocket here and flap here with pocket. We do have pocket here. Then it can be open. We do have writing spot, pocket here, and this is flap, this pocket here. So there is a lot of pockets, lots of opening. For a front cover, I did use papers from Grangy Linen, linnet papers, not linen, linnet. And for back cover, that was also <laughs> Grangy Linnet. Here inside, I used uh, Lost in Numbers. And lost in alphabet, and this is blue glitch collection. And that's all. And Linet Grandilina. That's all for today. Thank you so much for visiting me and spending your time with me. I hope you will go to have a look on Susie's channel for on her video. It's brilliant. All her work is wonderful. And this is all from me for today. I hope I will see you next time with this journal. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself, and I will come back soon. Bye.